In 1987, when the Air Force sought to renew its stranglehold on the Groom Range, news articles once again mentioned the talk about alien spacecraft, and subsequent articles in national magazines quoted unnamed sources about things of alien origin flying in Nevada, things that would make filmmaker George Lucas drool. Despite the speculation, no one who knew Area 51 from the inside ever talked publicly about the saucer stories. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine, uh, flying saucers, flying discs, uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. The live interview with the shadowy dentist drew international attention. Portions were broadcast by radio in six European countries and in a nationally televised TV special in Japan. Actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs. Despite numerous inquiries and feelers, Dennis has remained anonymous until now. His real name is Robert Lazar, a young scientist with eclectic interests. The choice of Dennis was an inside joke. He says that's the name of his superior at Groom Lake. It wasn't a joke to Dennis. He called right after and he said, do you have any idea what we're going to do to you now? And I, I said, well, no. He <laughs> hung up the phone. Lazar's story is, by any standards, fantastic. He says he's telling it in order to protect himself. He says he was hired to work at an area called S-4, which is a few miles south of Groom Lake. At S-4, he says, are flying saucers, antimatter reactors, and other working examples of technology that is seemingly beyond human capability. 